London. Hey! Um, how's everything been? Very well, honestly. I would like to say I'm in a great mental state. Yeah. Uh, you said that last week and you're still here. Um, anyways, can you pull out your coming mechanism, please? Aye, aye, Captain. Um, so you enjoy the mint so far? Oh yeah, of course. There's so many things to do and see. I went to an art museum yesterday. That's nice. Um, seems boring, but nice. Thanks. Yeah. Um, so, uh, how'd you get here? Uh, I took a train here. The trains on the moon are so lovely. They're made of a nice material, I've heard. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's titanium. Um, I've ever heard that from a couple co-workers. They're really durable, and they rarely get in wrecks. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, not only have I heard that, I also heard that there's solar power to prevent pollution and the long-term effect that it could have on our city. Anyways, um, let's talk about you. So, do you still still live with your psychologically abusive grandmother? <laughs> <laughs> nope, I got a place of my own now. Oh, okay. Um, that's nice. Uh, so tell me what's like. Okay, so. My house has three stories, including the basement. Um, I also have a digital gate that I programmed with my computer, which is pretty cool, I'd say. Well, uh, that's honestly the most inter interesting thing you've said in your five years of therapy. Uh, uh, but anyways, how, how does that work, like the, the gate? Well, like I said, the gate is digital, so it's not a real gate, like it's not there, but um, it, it opens itself. I can well, I can open it on my computer. Like I can like access it on my computer. So. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I can also customize the gate with my own design. So if someone were to go up to it, and it would appear, but it would actually be there since it's a hologram. Oh. Okay. I mean, they still won't be able to get through it, but you know. Mhm. Mm That's cool. Um, is there anything else about your house that you'd like to explain? Yes, yes. This is honestly really, really boring. But I have this, like, built-in water system. It's underground. And, uh, it produces clean water. Like, cleaner than the water on Earth. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's honestly really boring. Like, legitimately. But it, if it makes you happy... Yes, it makes me very happy. <laughs> Who would know that clean water could, um, you know, like, get rid of my existential dreads and fears? <laughs> Yeah. Um. All right. So, is there what? Anything um, else? your room smells like really familiar. I uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> like not like not in a weird way, but. Like, it smells really familiar. Yeah, no, I get it. Well, actually, we have um, scent pods that make rooms and buildings across the moon smell like back home on Earth. Okay, uh, how does that work? Um, well, astronomers were first no notified about humanity moving from the Earth to the moon. They created these little things which we call scent pods. And um, they capture really specific scents, like really, really oh, okay. specific. And um, I placed this pod in my office on Earth, just, and eventually it picked up the scent, and when I got to the moon, it just smelled like my room. Okay. okay. Here, I have, I have one that you can smell. Oh, okay. You know what? You know what? This smells like um, my old office job. I got fired there anyways because during a psychosis episode I set the break room on fire. But I mean that's another story for later. We're, we'll have more sessions in the future. Okay. Um, that's cool. Uh, wanna talk about? No. It? Okay. Um, have you ever heard of a space garden? Uh, no, I haven't. What is it? Um, it's like a garden, but it's, but it's in space, like the name, like a garden, but make it space. Okay, um, you call me stupid. Well, uh, let me not be rude. I usually forget how brainless you are. Okay. No, I, no, no offense, though. Oh, not taken. Not taken. Um, fun fact, when I was younger, um, I had to get a part of my brain removed, so I only have half of it. It was a very, very long... Surgery, if I can remember. I only have half a brain left, so I can't really remember it. They put like anesthesia or whatever, and I couldn't remember. So that's all I remember. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I. I know. You. You told me. You told me about this multiple times. I think you're a lost cause. What? No. Nothing. Um. Let's move on. 
uh, what I was talking about earlier, which was the space, uh, the space gardens, right? Yeah, the space garden. <laughs> um, yeah, in my space garden, I grow all types of plants, like cucumbers, peppers, green beans, and all my herbs and everything. Um, mm -hmm. It's just a lot easier to plant on the moon than on Earth, in my opinion. Okay, how about I consider to grow me one? Good, it's, it's really calming. It's well, I might more need more information on it so I can like really understand what I'm supposed to like do. My garden is a greenhouse in my backyard. Oh, um, okay. So, quick question: Are the plants easy to grow? Well, of course. If you take care of them every day, plus since we're on the moon, the sun is closer, which makes the plants grow faster. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, you can write down gardening in your in your coping mechanisms, whether you like. Oh, well, look at that. It's time for you to go. Okay, well, I can't wait till our next session. Yeah, me neither. You know what? I really enjoyed our session today. Yeah, it was, it was a little bit chaotic, but yeah, it was good. Well, bye!